assalamu alaikum dear students hope you will be fine uh, so today we will start our class our topic is criteria for the selection of a project how a project manager will select a project so the life blood of any project manager or project management officer is a stream of the new ideas so they turns into projects project helps to deliver the strategy and they keep the team busy doing the valuable work and helps the business to achieve its objective so idea new idea that is the life blood keep in mind of the project project selection and rejection this is very critical decision for a project manager officer or for the project manager first of all why a project manager select the project or why a project manager reject the project so simple all those project which are beneficials so project manager will accept and all such projects which are non beneficials so we will reject now how we will know that either the project is beneficial or non beneficial so for that purpose we have the different techniques like cba analysis npv analysis pi analysis and so on so later on in our upcoming lectures we will discuss these techniques one by one but first we will know about that what does it mean by project selection look at one is called election and one is called selection selection means that we make some analysis and after those analysis we are point out a one project one or more than one projects that yes we will do this project so project selection that is only one of the many decisions that is associated with the project management project models may be quite simple to understand or they may be extremely complex sometimes uh, this is very find very easy by the project manager to take the decision regarding the selection of the model that we like we accept this project and we will do such a project but sometimes there are some projects which are too much or extremely we can say that they are complex so they need too much work 
and some critical analysis are also required. And after a long discussions, then the project manager reached the end and take the decision of the acceptance of or the rejections. Like investment projects, <coughs> this is very crucial projects for the project manager for the investor. Why? Because we don't know the market trend properly. So is, these are the future based output oriented projects. So in this case, too much critical analysis are required and the decision regarding to the investment in different types of the security, this is also a critical decisions. So blindly the project manager can't take <coughs> such decisions. If we looked out, so daily we are the witnesses of the good and bad decisions of the project managers. Sometimes the project manager accept the non-beneficial projects. They take the decision to accept a project which is non-beneficial for them. And sometimes the project manager reject a beneficial projects. Why is such type of the decisions taken by a project manager? Due to the lack of knowledge or lack of experience or misinformations. when project manager do the analysis, so the data when they are collecting and on the basis of their data, they are making analysis. So automatically they will give the wrong result and on the basis of the wrong result, the project manager will take wrong decisions. So we are witnesses mostly in case of if we make investments like a projects. So project selection model that can be used to increase the profit, select the investments for the limited capital resources or improve the competitive position of the organizations. Now we are the, you people are the business students, so mostly I am trying to give you the business related examples and will explain it. Look at dear students, we, you people have savings. You want to invest this saving because you know that, that how much we invest, how much our money is circulated, so that is beneficial for you. So in this case, when you want to invest it, now the question is that, first of all, where to be invest? then how to be invest properly. Why you are investment? 
so it means that you are invest for the best returns you want a more profit so now you will invest over there that will give you more returns there are many options like you make investment in the stock you make investments in the <coughs> equity stock that stock for in the money market instruments into capital market instruments so here decision is complicated similarly we you you have already business but you have the limited capital resources so how you will manage those resources to get the maximum outputs how you will make money in which way you can properly utilize your those capital resources or there is another one that how you can improve your competitive position so now in this case proper decisions are required that for these which type of the project being in a project manager will select so these was the questions which we will answers time to time by solving the different models of the project in the project selection process look at the biggest challenge for the business leader nowadays is to decide it what to work on they are not enough time in and also they have not enough money to do the everything that they are wanting to do so that's what the project selection criteria comes in and the project manager will use such a criteria with a with a defined set of criteria uh, you can push every idea through the same process and pop out the other to end with a clear idea about whether this project should go ahead or not but look at dear students there is a tiny problems with the applying of the same process in every project proposals so criteria for project working in the business number 1 if we looked out so expected 
revenue. Number two, market share growth. Number three, improvements to brand awareness. Four, risk assessment. Fifth, resources required. Sixth, improvements to key business matters. Seventh, reduction in cycle times, I mean a time duration of the project. Eight, improvements to customer satisfactions. Nine, cost reductions. Ten, resource required. These are the main criteria while we will check out being in a project manager to select or to reject the project. Like expected revenue, so delivering the new product and services mostly generally comes with the expectations of a revenue. So mostly when we write the project proposals that was your assignment if you remember. So in the project proposal or in business case so that you can easily see how much extra cash this project should be delivering to the bottom line. Market share growth, that is the second point. So in mostly nowadays there is a competitive environment. So in competitive environment or in competitive markets, grabbing of the market share. That is mostly the desire of the senior businesses, old businesses. So how the new comers will grab the markets? So market shares, we being in a project manager, we are considering as our project selection criteria. And then the project manager will be easily be able to compare the projects that aims to grow the market shares. So the way when you measure the market share, that should be transparent and easily replicable with the defined definitions and calculations that can be repeated again for same like of the project as well as. So this also helps with the benefits tracking is the project manager be able to look ahead and they compare what's the market's share improvements were expected and that were achieved or not. The third one point in the project selection criteria is improvements of brand awareness in a product name or company name awareness. So sometimes the project are not about making more money or growing up the business in 
such an away improvement dear students brand recognitions is also a, a, that is also a way or matters that can be used at the project selection time depending on the phase of the business growth many of the projects use this as a part of the project selections brand awareness but those businesses which are already mature they have an image in the mind of the customers in the mind of the people so then in such case they are not using this point like let's suppose if coke so already they have an image in our mind so this is required for those businesses who need to improve their brand awareness clear keep in mind this one point risk assessment that is the two fourth one that is a much important one risk assessment risk assessment some projects are risker and this needs to be taken into accounts dear students during the project selection time as a project management team like you should be advising decision makers to keep the portfolio balance at all the time this means not taking on a bunch of high projects when the business risk is appetite low so equally if all projects are very low risk you could probably afford to take a few chances of the risk look at i'm giving you a simple example that if you want to make investments a b c projects all of these three project are too much risky and on other hand there are x y z projects whose risk is as compared to a b c projects is less risky so being in a project manager what will be the decision the decision should be that one that you will make some investments in abc and some investment in xyz this is the management of the risk yeah we can say that portfolio management hope you will understand this point the fifth one criteria for the project selection is resource required so all projects you know that required resources whether that is pupils in humans or either that are financial resources like cash so every project proposals should include the clear statement about what these resources are and where it is proposed the funding cash come from then decision makers can compare the relative cost of projects against their expected benefits like look it i will give you a simple tap here that you may want to introduce a slightly different project 
approval process for the projects over a certain budget. So you may need to get a board members to sign up that spending over a particular um, amount. So all the resource which is required for the project completions so that must be included in the project proposal stage when we write the project proposals and these resources will be keep in our mind in the project selection or rejection time. The rest of the five points I will explain in my upcoming class. Mm, so if you have any questions so please ask me in the group.